नमस्कार दोस्तों मेरा नाम कमल मोंगा है और आज 22 अक्टूबर 2017 है दोस्तों आपके लिए एक गाना लेके आया हूं पहले वो गाना सुन लीजिए बच के रहना रे बाबा बच के रहना रे बच के रहना रे बाबा आर एफ आई डी से तेरे लिए लाए हम आर एफ आई डी जानवरों में लगा चुके आर एफ आई डी बॉडी में घुसेड़ के नजर रखेंगे नजर रखेंगे तुझ पे नजर रखेंगे बच के रहना रे बाबा आर एफ आई डी से बहुत सारे लोगों को लगता है कि आर एफ आई डी चिप जो है वो कुछ नहीं करेगा वो मानवता की सेवा के लिए बनाया गया है लेकिन मेरा पॉइंट जो मेरा ऑब्जेक्शन जो है वो आर एफ आई डी चिप का मानव शरीर में लगाने से है बाकी जो चीजों पे यूज होता है वो आप करते रहिए उसमें कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है लेकिन अगर जानवरों के शरीर में इसको घुसाड़ा गया इंसानों के शरीर में घुसाड़ा जा चुका है इसको और ये टेक्नोलॉजी धीरे धीरे करके भारत में भी आएगी क्योंकि भारत के लोगों को लगता है कि जो भारत के बहुत पढ़े लिखे लोग हैं चाहे वो मिनिस्टर्स हैं इकोनॉमिस्ट हैं जो भी हैं जिनको लगता है कि हाँ भाई भारत जो है टेक्नोलॉजी में बहुत पीछे है उनको वो सारी चीजें अपनानी चाहिए जो विदेशों में होती है अमेरिका में होती है यानी कि अगर अमेरिका में गुलाम तैयार किए जा रहे हैं तो भारत में भी किए जाए ऐसा यहां की सोच है और उसको फिर जस्टिफाई भी किया जाता है मीडिया के माध्यम से सरकारों के माध्यम से बहुत इंटेलेक्चुअल्स बहुत हैं पढ़े लिखे लोग बहुत हैं यहां पर तो आप प्लीज अगला वीडियो देखिए और ये देखने की कोशिश कीजिए कि जिस व्यक्ति ने इसको अपने शरीर में लगाया था लगवाया था उसके साथ क्या क्या हुआ उसके शरीर में वो वायरस भी आए जैसे कि हमारे मोबाइल में वायरस आते हैं तो अगर आप चाहते हैं कि आने वाले समय में आपके बच्चों को ये चीज लगवाई जाए तो आप अपना लेना क्योंकि आजादी और गुलामी तो आपके अपने हाथ में है सोचने की शक्ति ईश्वर ने दी है अब वो आप उसका प्रयोग करते हैं या नहीं करते वो आपके ऊपर है लेकिन एक चीज कंफर्म है कि जब भी विश्व में कोई प्रॉब्लम आएगी आर को एक सोल्यूशन के रूप में दिखाया जाएगा लोगों को कहा जाएगा कि हाँ इससे ये हो जाएगा वो हो जाएगा आपके लिए बेनिफिशियल है और फिर गुलाम जो होंगे इसको चुपचाप सर झुका के इसको स्वीकार कर लेंगे वीडियोस देखिए और खुद डिसाइड कीजिए कि आपके लिए क्या अच्छा है क्या बुरा और उन लोगों का भी वीडियो देखना जिन लोगों ने इसको अपने शरीर में लगवाया और एक औरत का भी वीडियो देखना उसके बाद जिसने इसके ऊपर ऑब्जेक्शन उठाया धन्यवाद ही इज अ रियल लाइफ साइबर मैन a scientist with an implanted computer chip a tiny lump is all that gives it away a wave of his digitally enhanced hand and security doors magically open only he can operate his phone and only if he holds it in the hand fitted with a chip but now dr mark gasson is suffering a very 21st century malady the first human to be infected with a computer virus when the systems read my tags the computer virus has actually appeared throughout the whole database so it's actually replicated itself and copied it throughout the database so any of these people that are using their swipe cards to access the building the actual virus would be copied onto their card the cybernetics expert at the university of reading had the chip implanted in a minor operation in future your medical records could be stored like this but the chips are vulnerable This is just like the chip that's implanted in Dr. Gasson's hand. It's called an RFID, a tag that's been used for many years to track goods around the world. But these days they're far more powerful and they're being used in more and more applications. They're like mini computers and just like a computer, they're vulnerable to viruses. Already many implanted medical devices like heart pacemakers have onboard computers that communicate with doctors. If they're corrupted by a virus, the consequences for patients could be fatal. And in future, chips will be used even more widely, perhaps even as memory upgrades for the brain. They too could be scrambled by malicious computer code. These type of devices are going to have to start to use secure encrypted communication. Um the medical devices really should have some sort of password protection as well i mean it's very basic um security precautions which surprisingly these devices don't have at the moment our bodies have been fighting biological viruses for millions of years but as man and machine merge so computer viruses could prove a new threat to human health
Thomas Moore, Sky News. Next, how far would you go for better security? How about an ID implanted in your arm? Who's actually asking people to do that? You might be surprised. Also, moving along now to tonight's eye opener, what would you do if your boss said you had to have a computer ID chip implanted under your skin or you'd be fired? Well, we're not there quite yet, but one Ohio company is doing something that has some people wondering if we're headed down that road. Here's technology correspondent Daniel Seberg with tonight's eye opener. There's my chip right there. So you can actually see it. It's about the size of a grain of rice, and it feels like it too. But what that tiny chip can and can't do has become the source of much concern and confusion. I was in a grocery store, and a couple ladies said, Hey, you're the guy with the chip in your arm, aren't you? You know, run across the scanner so we can see if we get some, a, a discount on groceries. Sean Darks is the CEO of CityWatcher.com, a small company in Cincinnati that's the first U.S. business to use chip implants in its employees. What you're looking at here is recorded footage back in August of a number of drug deals. City Watcher provides video surveillance for clients and for the police. And the video that it collects, like this drug bust, is the company's biggest asset. And they say they need to keep it under more than just lock and key. You might have one of these where you work, a key card that allows access to different parts of the office. A lot of businesses use them, but here at City Watcher, there's one particular room where you need either the implanted chip in your arm or a keychain. And Sean says the choice is up to the employee. City Watcher employees Chuck Gordon and Kari Williams require access to the secure server room where the video is stored. One got the implant and the other decided not to. He carries the chip in a keychain instead. That's one of the reasons that I don't want to do it. It's just, it's creepy to have, knowing that something is there the entire time. But Chuck, you, you could get over that to feel like. Right now, I guess the big thing is Big Brother's to be watching you over this. Um, basically, the chip's dormant, except unless you go in front of the access uh, panel. And that's the only time it activates. So, other than that, I really have no worries about it. Chip implants have been common in pets for several years, giving the owner peace of mind that their lost animal could be identified. And for retail giant Walmart, the chips are used as smart barcodes to keep track of thousands of products. But for use in people, well, privacy advocates think we shouldn't open that door. The concern is a privacy concern because when that chip is placed in you, it becomes a permanent form of identification. If it were a bracelet, for example, or an ID card, you might choose not to carry it or not to wear it. But if the critics question the security of the system. It is the case that chips have been hacked. It's possible to duplicate them. It's possible to commit fraud with them. And those are also risks uh, for people who are using this chip. Put a chip in every one of us. It talks about it right here. 